Podcast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, after a wild weekend, we get to settle down a little bit this week. Not by much. We are going to start to warm things up over the next 24 hours. Again, tonight, just a little bit warm and windy. Watching our temperatures eventually climb into the 70s by tomorrow afternoon. Stepping into Wednesday, there is a line of thunderstorms on the way. Do I see it being severe? No, it doesn't look like that. Maybe a pocket or two of heavy rainfall. Now, the concern is what happens overnight. We may see a flurry if that cold air catches up. I don't think we're going to get there again. We may squeeze one or two snowflakes out of the clouds. Nothing's going to stick. I know that for a fact. And then, as you see here, as soon as that front dries through, well, our temperatures will once again begin to fall. We're going to get back near freezing as we close up the week. Live sky cam out there, not too bad. 52 at this hour. Winds are out of the east at about 13 miles per hour. But we're going to add a southern component overnight and as we head into tomorrow. That's why we're going to slowly start to warm things up. We're going to start to see a few more clouds enter the picture heading into the evening hours as you look at our future cast here. And notice again, we fall underneath that warm sector, which is just underneath this warm front. And that's why, again, we're going to get a little warm, a little humid over the next couple of days with the possibility of a shower. This next cold front driving through, that's what's going to fire up a couple more storms. And then obviously on the backside, we cool things off once again. So here you go, a little bit of cloud cover out there, the chance for a light shower heading into. Tomorrow, I think the main concern is obviously Wednesday. We're going to start to see a couple storms, mainly off and on throughout the entire day. We'll get that first wave through during the morning hours, and then obviously another round as we head into the afternoon. So your chance for rain. Look for an isolated shower tomorrow. Most of the storms will hold off until the daytime hours of Wednesday. Back to dry for Thursday and Friday with the possibility of an isolated shower over the weekend. So here you go. 55 officially was your daytime high. That is just a little bit below normal as we should be sitting around 62 tomorrow. We're going to quickly spike above normal, maybe even by 10 degrees. We did start out below freezing at 29. And notice here, again, all that warm air in place. And it's going to sit on top of us for a few short hours. Again, very short lived out here. You can see it on the seven day picture. 72 tomorrow with a chance for a light shower. Cold front dries through and temperatures will quickly drop. By the time we get into Wednesday evening, we're back near freezing out there. By the time we roll into the afternoon hours, plenty of sunshine and below average temperatures for most of the week, getting back into the 60s by Saturday. But as you see, there are another front on the way. And Yes, we could even be seeing some cooler temperatures heading into early next week. I was looking at some long range models. Uh -huh. Maybe towards the end of next week. Not this week, but the following week, it could get very chilly. But until then, enjoy the, the so so weather. I'm not listening to so -so. you, Jason. <laughs> not listening. All right. <laughs> Sports is next.